this is rap the news so uh today and yesterday i believe brother deshaun went down and visited brother sinky here's the picture right here and uh in the comments there was some good comments a lot of good comments and then there was some not so good comments about shaky people who got influenced by the camps because the camps are people without knowledge you know they huffing and puffing black power and pride and they not really preaching the religion so if you come over here you're starting to hear the religion actually being preached in the correct way and so uh wit brother Deshaun did is called sojourn and that's legal in the Torah because a lot of people didn't know how to feel about that and so sometimes you just need an edumacation sojourn definition is a temporary stay that is legal in the eyesight of God yes God cast out the Gentiles yes Jesus Christ said don't go nowhere among the Gentiles or enter the towns of the Samaritan, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, people. We understand that, and we're going to explain that a little bit. But let's get into sojourn. Okay. Genesis 12:10. And there was a famine in the land, and Abraham went down to Gentileville to sojourn there, just like Brother Deshaun. Did God kill Abraham or was Abraham still righteous in God's eyesight? Abraham was and brother Deshaun, if he got good intentions, was also. Ain't no difference between Abraham and brother Deshaun, except one's a prophet and one's not. Who get that? Leviticus 17, 8. And thou shalt say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel or of the strangers which sojourn among you that means Gentiles stay with us and that means we stay with Gentiles the thing is is sojourn we can only stay with them temporarily and they can only stay with us temporarily let's keep going Le Leviticus 1933 if a stranger stranger mean Gentile sojourn with thee in your land God speaking you shall not vex him right because God spoke to the prophets and the prophets God told the prophets what to say and they spoke. Vex definition, to make them feel annoyed, frustrated, and worried. So all the people that's doing that in the comments, you are illegal. You're the one who wrong, not Brother Deshaun or even Brother Sinky. Sinky is not my brother. If anybody who believe in the Most High God and is trying to do what's right by the Most High God and treating the children of Israel the best that they possibly can, we all human some type of way, you know. Uh, God said, God will bless those who bless Israel. You know, who are you to damn them and curse them? We got to get over ourselves, people. Isaiah 52, 4. But thus says the Lord God, my people went down a fourth time into Gentileville to sojourn there. Keep going. Brother Deshaun, Brother Sinky. The children, if you got any questions, ask me. I, get, I, I got answers. Don't have problems if we got answers right here. You're ignorant to have problems. The children of Israel fled among the Africans away from the Edomites so that they don't be taken as slaves. You know, we always been around Gentiles and Gentiles always been around us. The thing is with God is it's only for a time. And then we're going to be set apart by ourselves. Remember, Joseph and Moses was raised by Gentiles. Moses was raised by the Pharaohs. Joseph, same damn thing. Right? In the house of Gentile villes in the midst of Gentiles. Come on. Come on. Quit being spooky because a lot of people, I don't really know how to feel about James Sinky and Brother uh, uh, Deshaun and Rap the News. Why? Why is Raptor News condoning this? Because it ain't illegal. I don't condone nothing that's illegal. But if we read our scriptures and it is legal, leave it alone. I mean, if, if, if uh, Brother Sinky was some racist and he was this and that and he hated black people. And then Brother Deshaun went down there. Now that's illegal. 
according to the book. And remember, Abraham had a baby by a Gentile. God chopped his head off of that. Let's not be spooky. Jesus typically has the date of the start of his ministry estimated at around A.D. 27 to 29 and the end in the range of A.D. 30 to 36. Why did I put that? I put that there because Jesus, Abraham, they all knew that we were going to be taken into captivity, that Jerusalem was going to be besieged, it was going to be trampled down by the Gentiles. It was written, and Jesus was telling us to be careful to go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter into no town of the Samaritans. And pretty much about 34 years later, in 70 A.D., Titus destroyed Jerusalem. So, sojourn definition for the ignorant, spooky people who don't know. And that's why you're spooky and ignorant and you don't understand. It's a temporary stay. You can do it. We don't adopt the Gentiles' religion, ways, customs, or anything else. We do what the Most High God commanded us. We don't try to be like them or act like them in any type of way. We don't have children with them. We don't marry them. And we have to have the understanding that sojourn means a temporary stay. God is going to keep us here for 400 years. And then we're going to sojourn our asses out of here away from Gentiles. He's going to take us out from amongst them. He always casts them out or take us out. This is Rap the News.